This project was created as an answer to the Makers Creative Collab March Challenge, Go for the Gold. PM Artist Studio puts this on and sponsors it. There is a group of artists. All of their information and links to their video will be in my description below. Please take time to hop through each and every one of these. We've all worked very hard to get our March video out, and I would love it if you saw each and every video attached to this collaboration. My name is Peggy. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment, subscribe to my channel, and of course the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. And that thumbs up helps us all. So as you hop through all of these videos, give us a thumbs up and a comment. We will all appreciate it greatly. So Go For The Gold was a challenge and I couldn't think of any better place to start than with a golden book. I tore the book apart and I am utilizing the covers and I shall alter the golden book for my project to answer that challenge, Go For The Gold. So that's my first gold insertion into this collaboration. And I'm just trying to figure out here what I'm going to do. But what I would like to do is create a booklet for myself to practice doodling. I've been playing with that a little bit. So for the cover, I pulled out my gel preps, laid down some parchment paint, and sprayed it with my tea-dyed Distress Oxide Spray. And there is the start of that cover. And now some gold paint will put the gold into the cover. And there, it gives it kind of that old worldy um, distress building look, if you will. And I like how this is turning out, or I like how this is providing me with a pretty decent background to get started. So now that I have that complete, I have this gold marker, and we're going to add our third bit of gold to this. And I am just a simic writing across the entire piece here. So we have the gel press print on a white cardstock is what I printed this on and now I'm just adding that asymic writing in the gold paint. Now I wanted to add a bit of color to this too, and I thought red would be a real nice um, focal color or focal piece on the front. So I'm dotting three red dots and picking them up with a piece of deli, deli sheet. I, In retrospect, I kind of wish I would have used some tissue paper, but I didn't. So we're going to go with what I did, and I used that deli sheet. I mixed the red with a little bit of burnt umber to dull it down just a bit. So now let's get the paper glued to the golden book, and I'm just using a tacky glue, spreading that out with my credit card or my hotel key card, and I'm laying that um, cardstock right onto that golden book cover and I'll set those aside and let them dry and when that has set a bit I'm going to come back trim off the edges to kind of give myself that corner mark and then fold this just like a present and I will fold it Fold it over, making sure I get those corners nice and clean and pristine. And I think that's going to make a pretty nice looking book cover. There. <clears throat> it's coming along. And the cardstock is a little rigid, if you will. But it is folded up nicely, and I am going to do that now to both. And there's this deli paper and 
just kind of testing it out over the front. To get this ready to go on the front cover, I have decided since I'm going to be utilizing this book to practice the doodling on top of watercolor blobs, I thought I would go ahead and just doodle on these three red dots to get them ready to go on the front cover of this book. And I'm just using my tear ruler to tear that deli sheet close to the close to the dots. And then we'll put that in place right there in the center of that front cover. I'm using the hard coat because I've covered this book with just a cardstock so I want to really protect it so I'm using the Mod Podge hard coat to do that and once that Mod Podge is down it's the once again the Mod Podge hard coat I'm going to let that dry once it's dry I'm going to flip this book over and bind it I'm utilizing surgical tape to bind this together. That surgical tape is sturdy and it is not kind of discreet and I will put the book together and secure it with the surgical tape on the front and the back and just tuck that down and into place. And I have this washi tape that has the gold dots on it, so yet another gold I'm bringing in into this project. And I am putting that over the top of that surgical tape on the back. Now the inside will be disguised when I bind the signatures in. but I do want something on, on the outside. And the washi tape needs to be glued <clears throat> just a little bit more. It is a, not real sticky, so I want to make sure I secure it, and I'm just securing it with the art glitter glue. And I'm going to give it one final coat of the Mod Podge hard coat and go over the top of that washi tape as well. And we'll just cut it up one more time and set that off to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to create the signatures for this book. And those will be created out of this 9 by 12 watercolor paper. And I am cutting it down to the size that fits inside the golden book folding it over into signatures, and I will create four signatures, two pieces of watercolor paper, paper each. And now that I have those complete, I'm going to give it one final trim to get the edges nice and neat and to make sure that it fits securely or inside the book without any over lap on the outside edge. So let's just give it a try here and see how it works. See that fits in there nicely. So now that the outside cover it's bound it's ready to go let's decorate the inside front and inside back. I'm doing that with these magazine poles on a gel press 
session that I had in my stash. So I'm putting these two lovely ladies inside the front and back covers. And that's just a magazine pull on standard copy paper. And if you want to know how to do that, check out my gel press series in my playlist in my channel, and you will find a video that is titled Magazine Imprint or Magazine Gel Press Pull. And once they are glued into place, I'm going to go over the top of them with more of this gold simic writing. And I am ready to kind of disguise the inside of, of the binding with a little of this bronze gilding wax. I'm just going over the top of that um, surgical tape and around the outside edge of the book. And I'll smudge it up in a couple of places, both on the front, back of the book, and, and on these pictures of the ladies as well. And now that that is all done, I'm going to mark where I want to punch the three holes for my pamphlet binding. And I will bind these signatures into place by punching through that surgical tape in the book. And that completes the book. And once again, if you want um, to check out that pamphlet binding, check out my playlist on my channel and you'll you'll find something there but this is what i produced for the gulf go for the gold and my finished project is right here i hope you enjoyed watching and as you could see in the front i'm utilizing it to doodle so thank you for being here please be sure to check out the next video in the hop all of the links are in the description below Thank you. Bye for now.